Welcome back, fans and friends. As promised a while ago, I have decided to bring out that vehicle in the back there is the Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. So not really important too much for this video, but this is the 1972 version of the car. Uh, otherwise, I did like the vehicle, uh, other than the fact that they chose this to open instead of the hood. And as you can see there, I did some damage to it trying to pop the hood open. It is cut out, there are cutouts, but what prevents it from opening is there is no gap here physically for it to open. See, it does open, it just doesn't open all the way. So unfortunately, but why that is important is for this vehicle, which is the heart of this video today. This is a 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442, and this is the highest trim level of the vehicle, W30. And this is a release 44, so obviously 2018, casting number 25. This is from the previous two generations from M2, so this is probably one of the first ones that I bought from them. And as you can see there, they advertise limited edition, the scaling, the metal, rubber and plastic, Detroit muscle, premium edition in French and Spanish as well. And design in the US, obviously it's made in China. And look how nice it looks inside the box. And we're gonna see if it looks even better, but this is the most important thing for me. Uh, this is when the deluxe models had actually opening doors, hood, and everything else. However, this vehicle, uh, I'm we're going to take a look at it. I'm pretty sure you see that bar there. It means that the whole window opens with the door in the frame. So as you know, most vehicles will open with just the door panel and nothing, including the window. We're going to find out if this one does that. It'll make it definitely unique. And as you can see there, there's the door panels and there is no window frame for them. And this is back when M2 allowed you to take the whole thing apart. You can see the air filter there, the engine parts, the hood there, steering wheel, all that stuff comes apart. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Good luck putting it back together, but they at least offered you the option. And then you have here their die cast body, separate headlights, opening doors, real chrome bumpers, a separate hood, we already know that. Rubber tires, I've shown it in previous videos. Total parts may vary from model to model, obviously. This, I believe, is a Ford Mustang. And there we can see the windshield and some other parts. And then just underneath it, we see here the M2 machines. It's very interesting that they do the Carroll Shelby GM, Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, uh, ET wheels, Edelbrock, and Centerline, Mr. Gasket Co., and Goodyear, as we know the tires rather than nowadays if it's not listed on the product they will not include such a wide array of products there's the cast line rocket it's very rare as for today and you can see the 2018 uh sorry yeah so I... all right so this is a release from obviously from 2018 uh, i might have said 2015 i apologize for that it's 2018 but it is as you can see it's worn down a little bit from age by now it's five years old. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it with nothing covering nothing else from that. Uh, I do have the green light version of that and I it is coming up soon. Uh, how soon? Probably the next video, but... And it is super dusty. So, like all the M2s that we have known and love, you have the very unusual maroon paint scheme. It doesn't take away from it, but otherwise just highly unusual. The vinyl top is white instead of uh, black. And you can see there are some painting issues. It's The silver is not quite uniform for the whole frame, but you can see how that there's two parts there. So I'm going to try to pop the hood without damaging the car. And we can see here it says Goodyear on the tires, the 442, the W30 underneath. Everybody knows there's a W29 as well. And as you can see, the detail that these vehicles have is sometimes missed. You can even see there that the parts for the headlights are separate pieces pushed in to make the vehicle one piece, not one piece, one unit. And so that confirms what I was saying. You see there how the window frame is joined to the door. It's not done very well, but probably why they didn't continue doing it, because it probably requires a lot of extra effort. So that's what I was talking about there. I'm going to pop the cap off of this, and we're going to take it apart. And there's the 442. As we can see, the spoiler, unfortunately, is broken there. So it's, as we can see, it's clearly bent. And then we have the exhaust, 1970 on the license plate, 442. 
the keyhole for the trunk is a little bit off center. You can see the reflection where it should be. Uh, lights are nice and evenly done. A little bit of a droop there on the bumper, but otherwise, uh, I shouldn't complain too much because, like I said, this car offers what very little, uh, even some premium models costing way more than this will not offer you. And that is simply this where I will open the door, and as you can see there, the one, not one piece, but the integral window frame with the door frame. So that is fairly unique. I've never seen it in an M2 model since. They don't release too many cutlasses, so therefore if you want to get your hands on it, it's probably very hard and or expensive. And so there we go again. So as you can see, the doors on the first try opened very well. Uh, we're going to just finish up. Do I really want to take it off? Other than that, we can see clearly see right through the cabin. So very well done in terms of the plastic for the windows. And the steering wheel there, nice contrasting white seats, the black interior, all done reasonably well. But like I said, what makes this car fairly unique in terms of M2s and 164 scale in general is the fact that uh, it also includes this little thing here the little plastic tab that keeps the hood open. So unfortunately, the hood does not open very much. I don't know if that's an issue of quality, but as you can see there, it does not want to go any higher than that. So seeing into the engine bay with a piece of plastic there is rather difficult. What I can do is try and remove the car from the base and remove the bottom. Okay, so I have removed the bottom as we can see there. Oldsmobile Cutlass is underneath the tires with the groove. They roll really well. I guess I'll just do the roll test right now. And it goes. So that's excellent. Like It's one of those things where they used to do it, and sometimes their cars don't do it right now. It has the shiny underside of the car. That's not terrible. There's the exhaust. There's the very simple to no transfer case for the thing. There's the differential. And it's the pivot type opening. So it's just one screw here. These are the two holes that connected to the base, but the, it's just the one screw there, and then the base will uh, open like a scissor jack. And so hopefully what I've done there is pull it out far enough. That is the screw that goes in the front. And so what happens after this is you simply attempt to pull that, and you see what happened there? It popped right out. Now it somewhat locking in the back and there's the tab I talk about that will go in here when you want to reassemble it but for now what I'm trying to do is to see if there is something here blocking the hood and as we can see there there's these two little pieces so this thing would have the entire thing would have to come out so unfortunately we're just gonna have to look at the engine like that, and as you can see there, it's done really well, but because the uh, hood doesn't open very much, very wide, sorry, it's impossible to see. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see if that green light, then there we can see it much better. Uh, what does it look like with the hood closed? By the way, if I take this out, it will not be fun to put back in, I'm just letting you know. There, that's what it looks like. As you can see, there's somewhat of a gap there. So the green light did it better even though the hood doesn't open. And you can see there's a bit of a that issue. So there we have it. I have completely dismantled, mostly not completely, but partially dismantled this 442. And the, the engine is actually, look at that. Like, look how, if I can just... All right, so with great difficulty, for some unknown reason, M2, and this is not their normal policy, they put the connecting part of the hood to this dash. So unfortunately, it's going to take me about half an hour to go through it and put it all together. However, the bonus is that I will show you the engine just before I end, end the video. I'm not going to spend the 10 minutes that I took it apart. That is fairly unique, this engine setup. In fact, this is the only vehicle I have ever, and not, not because it's a 455, or sorry, a 442, uh, 455 is Buick, but uh, it's because the multiple layers for the engine, the different colorations, and everything else. So in terms of 
the engine being probably one of the best engines I've ever seen in, in mounted in a 164 scale. This takes the cake. And you can even see it has the lettering and what's written there, Oldsmobile 442. So just like how I've shown engines with Hemi, Hemi is only four letters long and they have written the entire thing down for this. So this is definitely a vehicle, like I said, other than the broken uh, spoiler here, offers fairly unique features in the windows on the doors and this superbly detailed engine. So there we have it, fans and friends. I'm sorry for the long video and the total destruction of this 442, but I do believe it's worth it. And unlike green light and Hot Wheels, I can actually put it back together with a lot of effort. So I apologize for what I did to this 442. It will be reassembled soon enough. Not on video because it will take me quite a while to do all the research. But once again, look at the amazing detail on that engine. Can't beat that. I'm pretty sure I've never seen one quite as good as this one. Unfortunately, paint issues and the spoiler don't make it near perfect, but it is still excellent. And obviously, I showed you the gap in the hood. So, fans and friends, thank you for watching this video on what's left of this 442. This is Thomas from Toronto, and to the next one.